Today is October 6th, on which we commemorate William Tyndale, priest. Born around 1594, William Tyndale would become one of the most significant figures in the English church leading up to the Reformation. While studying theology at Oxford in 1515, Tyndale was astonished that the course of study did not include any in-depth examination of Scripture. Those being prepared for the ministry were first trained in Greek philosophy and only then allowed to read the Scripture. Tyndale, a gifted linguist, set out to study and learn the Scriptures in their original languages. This course of action was extremely controversial, as it would seem to call into question the authority of the Pope and the Church. Indeed, the more Tyndale studied the Scriptures, the more he called into question that very authority, and to see it as his mission to bring the Scriptures to the common people. In a famous quarrel with a priest who ardently defended the Pope, Tyndale said, I defy the Pope and all his laws, and if God spares my life ere many years, I will cause the boy that driveth the plow to know more of the Scriptures than thou dost. Official permission to make a translation of the Bible into English, however, was denied Tyndale, and so in 1524 he sailed for the continent. There, among the Lutherans, he began his translation of the New Testament. By 1526, copies of Tyndale's New Testament were smuggled into England and Scotland, and though wildly popular, were condemned and ordered burned by the church authorities. In 1529, Cardinal Wolsey declared Tyndale a heretic. At the same time, Tyndale, still in Europe, began to openly denounce King Henry VIII's plan to divorce Catherine of Aragon. Having now run afoul of the two most powerful men in England, Tyndale was forced to live in exile and in hiding. In 1535, he was discovered in Antwerp, arrested and tried and found guilty of heresy. Tradition holds that he was burned at the stake on this day in 1536, his last words being a fervent cry, Lord, open the King of England's eyes. In short order, those eyes were to some degree opened. By just 1540, the King of England had approved and seen completed four different English translations of the Holy Bible and ordered an English Bible to be placed in every parish church. All of these translations were heavily based on Tyndale's work. Let us pray. Almighty God, you planted in the heart of your servant William Tyndale a consuming passion to bring the scriptures to people in their native tongue and endowed him with the gift of powerful and graceful expression and with strength to persevere against all obstacles. Reveal to us your saving word as we read and study the scriptures and hear them calling us to repentance and life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.